Okay, number one. The blade has to be adjusted properly. The most important thing is this tension screw in the center. When you loosen this up, your tension is very loose. When you tighten it too tight, there is, you got to do a little bit tighter. There is barely no movement at all. So you don't want neither of the two. You don't want it too loose and you don't want it too tight. Too tight will make it where the blade won't move. The motor can't move the blade. See that? And too loose, the blade will be too loose. It will be flopping around and it just won't cut hair because the two blades don't come tight enough together. So what you want is you want to get that tension just right to the point where you have to force it over a little bit here and there you actually gotta push it see that it shouldn't move when you do that but you gotta push it but push it push it now if it is too loose when you do that that means it's too loose and of course you want it to be that you gotta push it softly you should be able to push it push it. Now if you get to the point where it's so tight that you kind of can't push it, then that tension is too tight. So loosen up a little bit. Can't move it like this, but push it. Just a pinch. Push it. Push it. That's pretty much it. These two screws are mainly to line the blade up. And so you want to line the blade up to where it doesn't have an overbite and it's not too far down so it can get a nice clean cut. The second thing is that once the clipper, the blade is on, once the blade is on, you have this power screw. Now with the power screw, when you tw pay attention to the blade, when you twist the power screw to the clockwise, the blade moves to the left and it stops. When you go counterclockwise, notice how the blade moves to the right, and then it kind of gets loud. What you want to do is you want to get that blade centered so the noise stops and get it right in the middle, and that's going to get your maximum power, your maximum vibration. You see it's kind of centered, and it's moving, and it's and it's nice and strong. And that's basically what a style liner needs. However, the only thing that you might need to do now is just clean the clipper out. But other than that, make sure that tension screw is right on the blade and make sure you got this balanced properly where the blade is centered, the motor is moving good, and it's not slow, it's not loud. Now, the last thing you need to pay attention to is the setting. Make sure that this blade, when you tighten these screws on, is not set up because it can chatter too much or if you go down, it cannot be aligned right. So you get it on there and you get it nice and centered and then you tighten it down. That way it sit on that pin back there nice and neat.